Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings, and today we're starting with a 30 ounce skinny mug from Craft Haven. This one is the one that has the handle, so I wanted to do one where I could show you how I'm wrapping the vinyl around it. And this vinyl is animal print number 18 from the Vinyl Cottage. So I just take my 12 by 12 sheet, I wrap it around the cup, and right there where the handle is, I'm leaving a little bit of an overlap there, and I'm just taking my craft knife, and I'm running it right above the handle and right below the handle, and I'm just making a little slit in the vinyl. And you'll see what I'm saying in just a minute. I just kind of take it and I run it flush with the handle, and I just kind of make a little slit up and down in the vinyl. So that way, you kind of have your the width of the tabs that you're going to cut out is just the width of the handle. So see how it just lays down? I'm kind of just making a slit there to start with, and then you can go back and trim out but that way you're guaranteed the vinyl is going to fit right there around the handle and then i'm going to pull the backing off like i normally would if you guys haven't seen me vinyl wrap a cup i will link a few of my vinyl wrap tutorials in the description box below and i'm just going to trim off this little excess right here so i can go ahead and press that vinyl down so it won't move so i can ensure that it's going to be lined up and straight so i'm going to do the top above the handle then i'm going to do this little section below the handle the same way So you can see here, I'm just making sure that I'm not moving the cup and I'm just gonna trim off this little area right here, just enough where I can press the vinyl down on the cup that it won't move. Then after I've got the top and the bottom done, I'm gonna take that little tab right there in the center and you can see where I've made the slit. You can pull it up just enough where you can trim off a little bit of the backing right there as well. And y'all, I know a lot of y'all tell me that I make this look easy. It's just lots of practice. And then you can see that I'm holding the cup as steady as I can with my left hand as I'm trimming that backing off just to make sure that my vinyl is not moving. I'm not tearing it anywhere. And then you can see I'm just going to carefully press that down. So you can see where those little areas are kind of sticking up, the little tabs that I cut off. I'm just going to go and I'm going to run my craft knife around the base of the handle where it's flush against the cup right there and then just trim off that little piece. So you can just trim that little piece. You're gonna get the backing and the vinyl at the same time. And that way the vinyl is gonna lay really flush against the cup because you don't actually trim that little area off until the vinyl is laying down. And then after I've made sure those little tabs right there are trimmed off, I'm going to turn the cup over or the vinyl over here. And I just take my craft knife and kind of use it to pull up the rest of the backing. Now, I'm not going to pull that whole sheet off. I'm going to allow the pressure of me place it, pressing the vinyl down onto the cup to remove the backing at the same time. Again, if you haven't seen me do this, I do have a few linked in the description box below where I go more into detail of that. But you can see I just kind of carefully make sure that that piece right there that I've placed down already is firmly pressed down. And then I'm going to continue to work my way around the cup here. And when you've got a cup that has a more rounded bottom like this, you can see that I'm kind of trying to pull down as I'm working my way around the cup. So I'm just gonna move really carefully. And I usually, this is kind of my process of how I do it. I'm holding the cup with my left hand and I'm just taking my right hand and kind of running it down as I'm going around the cup. And then just trying to make sure like at the top and the bottom that you're getting a good pull to, sometimes you may have to pull it a little bit tighter at the top and the bottom as you're working your way around. And then a lot of times you guys will see me use tape. I don't on this particular one as my line just because I pretty much know where I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it right down here flush with where the handle is pretty much. And I know I'm going to layer a lot of things on this cup. So if it's not perfectly straight, it's okay. But with the handle, it pretty much gives you a way to, to line it up pretty straight. And then I'm just going to pull it really tight around the top and I'm going to trim off the excess at the top. And then I'm going to go to the bottom and you'll kind of see my process. I just pull it really tight and press with my left thumb as I'm making sure that that there's no creases as it comes around from the side to the bottom of the cup and then I'm going to stick that down in the center but I'm going to cut that off so that doesn't really matter the main part here you want to make sure is that there's no creases on the side of the cup that's where it really presents a problem and then you're just going to trim off that excess before you go into the next step and for whatever reason, the next step, I didn't record actually putting the epoxy on the cup, but I am using, I use about 20 milliliters of Counterculture's medium viscosity. I've mixed that up and I am going to place these colors on the cup. So I'm using 
Sugar Lace from Diamond Lux Glitter, Pink Ladies and Blue Bell from Southern Bell Glitter, and then I use the Waves from Peachy Olive Glitters. So those are the colors that I'm going to be using on the cup, and I'm just going to kind of randomly add them in here. You can see I've kind of already, that I've recorded that at the end, but I am going to show you how I add them in. So I'm just going to go in here, and I just sprinkle a little bit in the areas that those are the colors that are on the cup. So I wanted to add a little color here. I'm going to add a little pink. Then I'm going to add the turquoise. And then just anywhere where there's like a mixture of colors, I'm going to add that sugar lace. And then I'm going to go back at the end because the predominant color on this cup is the, tur the turquoise and the teal that I'm going to add the waves in. And this one has like some little stars in it that are super cute to add in as well. So you kind of see... I there's not really a lot of explanation here, y'all, that I can do. Just kind of, it's just my eye as far as where I think it needs to go. But I do try to usually mirror that with what the pattern on the vinyl is. So I'm just going to play this and let you guys watch as I'm adding the glitter. So after I've let this coat dry, you guys, I do go back in about six hours later, and I'm going to add another coat of Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. I let that coat sit for about six hours, and I do go in and add a second coat after the glitter. So after I've let that dry, you can see here I've sanded the cup as well. I just kind of took my sanding block. I usually use an 80 grit sanding block and just kind of knocked it down a little bit, and then I'm going to go right in with my full adhesive. So I do want to add some foil accents, and this pattern, because it's a diamond shaped, it's kind of spread out all over the cup, I'm going to go back in and add some foil highlights to kind of highlight that diamond shape at the top and the bottom that kind of, you know, um, uh, kind of like frame the cup at the top and the bottom. So I'm just taking my paintbrush and adding in some little brush strokes at the top and the bottom, kind of in the same pattern as the diamond, this sort of the diamond here. And then I'm, I'm using my heat gun here to go in and speed that up just a little bit. You definitely don't have to have a heat gun. You can just let it dry. And I'm going to go in with the teal waterfall, the magenta, and the pink leopard uh, foils here. All my foils are from Southern Belle Glitter. Um, if she doesn't have them in stock right now, y'all, she restocks as often as she can. As soon as she gets inventory in and cut and packaging, y'all be patient. Um, definitely she uploads these as soon as she can and restocks as much as she can. Uh, nobody, I don't think anybody was prepared for all the full rage. And so she is getting them in and then she's constantly getting in new patterns that she's been on the look for as well. But these are the ones I'm going to use here. I will link these down in the description box below as well as the vinyl pattern and the mug from Craft Haven. And I have discount codes included down there for you guys as well. So this is another process. I'm just going to kind of have to let y'all watch a little bit. My thought here was to kind of frame the C, the diamond that's on the cup on the vinyl pattern. And I just do like light little brush strokes here. And you'll see me go in with one color foil. And then I kind of want to break that color up a little bit. So instead of having one big block there, 
you'll see like how hey, you can see the pink leopard on the bottom. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to just do like a little bit in the center of that where I can add a little bit of teal. So I almost am layering these on top of each other just where there's not like a big block of color in a certain area. I don't want full coverage here. I want it to be very random and distressed looking just like it's going to mirror the, the vinyl pattern here. So y'all won't have to listen to me talk the whole time. I'm just going to kind of go back through the process over and over again until I get it like I want it. I just apply a little bit of brush strokes with my full adhesive. And this full adhesive is a full adhesive that is available now at Southern Bell Glitter as well. It'll be linked in the description box also. So I'm just going to stop talking and let you guys watch. And you'll see me just repeat the process over and over again. But y'all use your discretion. Do it like, you, you know, make it your own here. I'm going to let y'all kind of watch me go through it. But definitely... Like, this is just what was in my mind. You guys make such beautiful designs too. Just kind of trust yourself and go with it. And then make sure you get the handle. That's what I, I, you know, this is an easy way to kind of cover up if you've got little places on the handle that you sanded down, but it just makes it more cohesive. It kind of blends a little bit better. So make sure you don't miss the handle if you want to add some foils in there. And then after this, I do not seal these foils. I am going to go into a layer of Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin after that. And I'll let that dry for about eight hours. And then I just created this in... Uh, the over app y'all there's a it's now it's GoDaddy studio but I just kind of did a markup on just a random thing on my iPad with my Apple pencil here and but I'm sure you can go in and just any kind of block you want and you can actually even cut this out yourself really if you wanted to with the vinyl so um, my first cut didn't cut very well and I kind of had to trim around it myself anyway but I wanted to use this tie-dyed vinyl here to kind of set a backdrop for the decal that I'm going to add and I wasn't really sure how I was going to do the decal but I knew I kind of wanted this as a backdrop since there's so much going on I still wanted to add a little bit of depth but something that was a more solid backdrop so I'm going to use this I do go into a layer of counterculture after this medium viscosity I use about 20 milliliters and I just laid that down on the cup, y'all, and I'm just trimming off the top and the bottom. And I'm trimming it off pretty high on the bottom because I don't want that vinyl to have to wrap around. So, and I'm going to go back in and add some more foils over that. So, you can see now that I've got it on the cup, I am going to go in and I'm going to use about 20 milliliters of Countercultures Medium Viscosity to cover this up. And then I'm actually going to go into another layer with this. I kind of wanted to stagger it. I don't really know why I had that in my mind. It's definitely not a, a step that you have to do. You could go into foils right after this. I just kind of wanted it to be of a more of a layered effect. So, but it's definitely not necessary. It's just kind of the way that I decided to do it. And then here I've actually mirrored that image. So I actually went in when I went into my design space and I just mirrored it where it was actually the reverse. And then I'm just gonna place it kind of offset of it, but so that the images kind of go with each other. And then really y'all, you can trim this down because I go back in and trim this down a little bit so it's not covering up so much of the cup. And like I said, this isn't necessarily a necessary step. I just wanted to add a little bit of this tie-dye bottle. I thought it would kind of be a good contrast. And when I see stuff that blends in together, it just, it looked like that vinyl pattern to me. So I was like, okay, let me go in here and add a little bit. And I'm just going to press that down. And then right after this, I'm not going to add another coat of epoxy. I'm going to go in and add some foils here. So I'm going to use the same foils that I've used before, that teal waterfall, the pink leopard, and the magenta. And I'm going to go in. And right there where that line is, I wanted a kind of like a run of foils down through there in different colors. So here again, there's not really much description to tell you guys, just kind of to watch how I do it. And it's really at your discretion how you think that they need to be added in. I just am going to kind of go in in the middle of the foil, on the edges of the foil, and just kind of randomly add them in. Um, it's a good opportunity where you can cover the bottom. That's why I cut it off really, uh, you know, kind of high on the bottom. Because I didn't want that foil to be, I mean, the vinyl to be presenting any problems with lifting or creating any rough areas on the bottom. So you can cut that off pretty high, and then you'll just be able to blend it in with the foils.
So I'm sorry, I probably won't do a lot of talking through this. I'm just going to let you guys watch. And here again, I'm using my full adhesive, just kind of randomly making the brush strokes. I'll use my heat gun, or you can just let it dry um, on its own and come back to it. You do want it to look, you can see how it goes from looking white to being more uh, transparent. That's what you want before you apply the foils. They are a little touchy, y'all. I have a lot of questions about these foils. And I'll be honest, every one of them is a little bit different. And sometimes it's just a trial and error process of what works. Sometimes they work well if you apply heat afterwards. Sometimes it works better. A lot of them will work better if you just let the adhesive dry by itself versus heating it up. So uh, I wish I knew a secret to tell y'all that worked on every time I add these foils. But these foils are all so, so different. Each one of them comes off a little bit different. It depends on the look you're going for. It's really just a trial and error process. So anyway, I'll be quiet now and just let y'all watch. <laughs> And then after that, I do not seal the foils. I'm going to go right into another layer of Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. And then we're going to have our final design. So I'll show you this cup. I'll tell you guys that I do end up adding a name to the cup and another layer of Countercultures Medium Viscosity. I don't actually show that. I will link some of those where I have added the name and the decal and show you how I do that in the description box below so you guys can go back and reference those videos. Um, but I did want you to see the final design. I love this cup. Um, I think it's probably one that I might recreate. These colors really just speak to me. Maybe it's because we're trying to come out of winter and come into spring. But I love the bright colors. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I will link all the products that I use in the description box below, as well as some discount codes for y'all. I'll link some other tutorials that you can reference that also go a little bit more in detail of some of the techniques I used here. And y'all join my Dixie Darlings Facebook group. Y'all, it's just growing and I have so much fun. We're going live on Sunday nights now at 7, on Wednesday nights at 7, and now we have Fun Full Fridays uh, where we're live at 3 o'clock. So y'all make sure to jump over there. Please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my future tutorials. Thank y'all so much, and I'll see y'all again soon.